Morning folks, it's Nick here. It's uh, day 40 and this is my last day. Uh, just sat down to breakfast in this little hotel. Hotel Ausput in Halle. So, uh, that's my breakfast. Um, started off the day with one of those uh, Odd thing, so here's a tip of the day already. Yesterday evening, I uh, took my gear upstairs, and there's a little balcony, and I put my boots out on the balcony. The weather didn't forecast rain, uh, but rain it did, and my boots are filled with rain with water. So today, uh, Somebody suggested if your feet are wet, stick them, go old school, put them in an old plastic carrier bag. So um, that's what I'm doing today. You've got a couple of those little bin liners that they use for bathrooms and housekeeping stuff at a hotel. So uh, each foot is going in one of those before it goes in the boot. There you go. Uh, tip of the day don't leave your boots out if there's any chance it's in the rain. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll give you an update as to what we're doing today when we're on the bike. So, see you in a while. So welcome to day 40 on the road, folks. Today is our last day. I'm currently heading towards Dunkirk, leaving Halle, and it says it's 170 kilometers to Dunkirk. Garmin estimates about three hours, 20 minutes, which probably means about four hours. These are cobbled streets, so probably not working very well. Maybe I should get off the cobbled streets before I do any more. How long is this cobbled street? Apparently, ferry. It's a bit of a wet start to the day. My boots were filled with water overnight. Hopefully this uh, recording is working. I just wanted to... Uh, have a little bit of a summary. I don't think I'm going to be filming much on the route because it's 70% uh, chance of rain and it's looking very uh, dodgy up front but there are a few lessons learned I've got from this trip and uh, about 10 <laughs> that I've got there's probably a low but have fun just enjoy the scenery still raining it's not quite as much but it's been miserable really heavy torrential rain I've decided I'm going straight to Calais rather than uh, via Dunkirk. If it's like this, it's not going to be pleasant doing a sightseeing thing. Just leaving Belgium and entering France. France! Sorry, no microphone.
So, I've arrived in um, Calais and the sun's come out. Uh, of course the battery expired just before I got to the port so I don't know how much of that I got but um, just in the queue now to <laughs> wrong way just in the queue to board I was due to get on the 1550 but I'm now queuing I think for the 1450 so that should be uh, quite good The check-in is uh, quite straightforward, it's a self-service machine, you just put in your booking reference and it came up with an option, do you want to stick with your current booking or take the earlier one, so I chose the earlier one. It also gave me a quick chance to uh, grab a sandwich, which is just uh, piled on the, uh, <laughs> under a cargo net at the back and a bottle of water. So in the end it was 210 kilometers to Calais. I didn't do the full windy route, it was a bit of a mix of both, but uh, avoided motorways for the most part, which was pretty good. And uh, as I say, yeah, the sun's come out now. It's been atrocious, the, uh, the amount of rain. I'm quite glad I put those little plastic um, bags on my feet earlier. I think they've probably stayed dry. <laughs> Still in the queue for passport control, French customs. It's 20 past two. The shuttle I'm booked on is due to leave in 30 minutes, so it shouldn't really be an issue. We're through the French border control. He took a great interest in the number of stamps in my passport, sort of just studying them. I've had um, stamps from previous travel but this one was probably a little bit more interesting. So it took a little while for him to stop reading. Actually I haven't had a look at them yet. We're just waiting for UK border control now. We're up next, I'll see you the other side. We're through border control. Don't know where we're going next. Boarding, I suppose. What do we do here? Vehicle check in. So he didn't need to check my boarding pass because I got this this handy peg with it on there, he could see it without uh, me having to faff around, so it was just a little tip I picked up some years ago, somebody suggested it, and uh, I've sort of stuck with it. So I think we're just in the queue now, I'm not sure what time we'll be boarding for what one, but uh, never mind, whatever it is, we'll be. blue sky now. My boots are still soaked but at least I've got those little plastic bags on. So this chap in front has got a roll bag and a top box he went to Croatia for two and a half weeks and there's a couple of lads up further have been away just for a week to the Black Forest with what looks like no more than a tiny little roll bag so it is possible so that's us on
hoping the sound is working. It looks like the sun is shining in the UK, but um, we'll just be going along the uh, motorway anyway, so for the most part, I won't bother capturing any of that. It's just uh, various motorways. But these trains are just so long. I've remembered to change the uh, trip back to miles well the uh, on the Garmin and on the bike it's very odd I feel as if I need to crouch my head on these things but the chap in front uh, is six foot two and he's got a little camera on the top of his thing and he's okay so I'm pretty sure I will be Right, so it should just be straight off now. I have to remove the uh, peg. <clears throat> Which is something I should have done before we started. So this is what we have a lot of in the UK at the moment. We've got an average 50 mile an hour speed limit, about 80 kilometers an hour, and uh, mile upon mile of, well, nothing. Just blocked off road. So there should be three lanes either way. Um, what they've done is they've just uh, made it two lanes and reduced it from 70 mile an hour to a 50 mile an hour. Uh, the sign back there said it's goes on for another nine miles yet it's already been several miles it's, uh, it's all very disappointing the way <laughs> the way we allow this uh, maintenance to go on such a nonsense way but there you go I don't know how far we've come so far but this this is the only sign of activity him there sweeping the road uh, must be 10 miles at least of this sort of nonsense but at least he's got a job, he's doing a grand job sweeping that bit of road that nobody's using. Oh, hold on, there's more stuff going on here. But why they have to close the previous 10 miles and the next, I don't know, five or more? No idea. Activity. So this is the M20 in Kent and actually there are trees and things look if you look straight ahead there there are trees visible we're in a bit of a dip between the trees so we can't see much else but at least they're there some rolling hills over on the right hand side So we're now on the M25, which is the big ring road loop around London. And uh, there's still greenery. So here we are, we're on the uh, slip road. No, we're not on the slip road, no, we're on the M25. And uh, the congestion going the other way has been going on for miles and miles and this congestion has just started in this direction uh, don't know how far this actually goes on, on to the 25 was truly abysmal filtering for miles luckily for you the battery ran out on the phone on the uh, gopro but this um just want to say this is the end of our journey together for this journey anyway i've learned loads i hope you found something useful out of it or got some enjoyment I've really enjoyed the trip, I've enjoyed you being there, your support, encouragement, observations, recommendations, areas for improvement, all been gratefully received and I'll um, look to apply those from the next trip. So the next trip is north, so the likes of Denmark, Sweden, Norway, whatever, 
Uh, but I think he'll have to put some more structure into it and have an idea of where it is I want to go and visit. This one going south was more just getting it out of my system, um, visiting 21 countries, the different cultures, the different geographies, the landscapes, the architectures, people. I mean, it's just been astounding. But um, all good things must come to an end. I'm looking forward to seeing my family now. I still think I chose the right bike for the, for the trip that I did. All that remains for me to do now is to say bye for now. Hope you can join me on the next journey. And I still love this bike. Bye.